Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to stop the search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing from indexing or crawling your site so that they don't get listed on the search engines. And I know a lot of you are thinking, why would you not want your website on the search engines? Well, specifically, there are a lot of times when you get into internet marketing or business or just doing websites that you want to do tests. Maybe you want to see a template on a, what it looks like on a different place, but you don't want to mess around with the real site, but you still want a real environment. So in some cases, what we can do is we can actually clone our website on what's called a subdomain. Like, for instance, we have here challenge.scvinternetmarketers.com. This is a subdomain of scvinternetmarketers.com that we created just for testing for certain things that are put here. Now, if we cloned a site onto this place, what would happen is if Google, we allowed the search engines to come through this site, uh, Google will get confused as to why there's two sites with exact duplicate content and it could hurt the original site. Um, so especially if you're doing tests on this, if you're ad adding s test posts or doing different weird things, you don't want to have that happen um, because it could actually hurt you as far as your search engine rankings. So what we want to do is we want to have this test site, and not only that, yeah, you don't want people looking at your test stuff probably. So um, here we have this site here called challenge.scvinternetmarketers.com that is doing specifically so I can do tutorials like what I'm showing you. Now, how do we check if it's been indexed? Well, I go to Google and type in site colon challenge.scvinternetmarketers.com and you can see how much Google has already crawled through the site and what it looks at or what it is listing in its search engine. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six different places that Google is actually indexing this. And we actually don't want them to keep on looking here. It's not a real site. There's nothing for it to really grab here anyway and you know, it's just for a test place. So here's how we'll go ahead and tell the search engines not to look at it. We're first going on a WordPress blog, since this is a WordPress tutorials, we're going to log in and we're going to the site dashboard where we can go to the settings. And very easily we can now go to the settings tab, then move down to privacy. From privacy, you pretty much just have one selection to make. Either allow search engines or not to allow. Now I have turned on the not to index this site a little late, so that's why there are six listings, which is kind of good to show you. And uh, what we'll do is we'll save the changes here, and we will tell Google and all the other search engines there will be a little like file or code that gets put into the site that says, hey, don't look here. Don't index this. Don't even list us in your search engine. But there is a warning that says it is up to the search engines to honor your request. So that means it could take a while or it could be that you still might show up. So this is just a, a one thing to know that it's not perfect, but for the most part I haven't had any problems with it. Um, today is July 4th, the 4th of July, and you'll notice that if you happen to see this listing, we can actually see how long ago the last time Google came through. Now if I hit here and go to cached, it tells Google or it tells me that Google last came through the site on June 28th. So any time after that is when I actually told Google not to index this site. And since then, it hasn't come back to actually honor my request yet. Uh, if it was July 3rd and I had done it on July 1st or 2nd, then I would be worried about when um, Google would coming back if they're going to honor it. But like I said, for the most part, June 24th was my uh, a last crawl through. And if I look here for the cached, it'll tell me that Google last came through here on June 27th. So I had set the don't index this site past the 27th when we had done some other tests and done other things here. So that's how you actually tell Google not to come back to your site. And in a few weeks or a couple days, in fact it may probably be a few weeks, but there will be, if you try to even search your own domain directly here, nothing's going to show up. It says this site doesn't exist you'd have to type it directly in the URL to be found doing this. So I hope this helps and like I said this is a lot of times used when you start doing a lot of um, internet business or web designing or web building and you want to do tests it's a great place to actually clone out your site into a subdomain test out plugins to see if you like it or not and that way if it breaks the clone you don't care because um, it's on a clone site or you can test templates to see if you like it or if you work with clients this is a great way to 
do like four or five different subdomains make sure you tell Google not to index it but then you can show your clients the five different templates at five different locations so that's one way that we do that if you have any questions or if you'd like to see a tip please email me at chris at tipsbychris.com or put a comment on the tipsbychris.com website under this uh, posting and I'd be happy to go ahead and help you with uh, any questions that I, if I know how I'll answer for you have a great day and being the 4th of July have a great 4th of July Thanks.